Hello, I'm Jeff Richards. I'm the head of training program development for Sage CRM. Thank you very much for joining me on this session. Um, my day job is writing about Sage CRM and creating learning resources for colleagues and partners working with Sage CRM. Part of that job is to think about the needs of developers. Uh, those are the guys and girls who are creating innovative extensions to Sage CRM and to then feed those needs into the roadmap work we do for Sage CRM. We have to translate the needs into features for the different application programming interfaces. In this session, I want to give you an overview of the add-ons that are available for Sage CRM, the marketplace or marketplaces uh, where you can uh, where you can find those add-ons and where you can find more information about Sage's ability to integrate. Now, I want to actually start by thinking about the strategy that Sage is following and how we're making sure that Sage CRM is following that strategy, and then how all our partner add-ons are enhancing that strategy. Sage CRM is a global product. It's actively sold on five of seven continents, and we have customers and users in six of those continents. And so though I'm preparing this session for a UK event, uh, much of what I have to say is applicable for every country in which Sage CRM is sold. And that's uh, Singapore and Jamaica, just as it much, uh, just as much as it is for uh, the UK and Ireland. Sage as a company is moving to position itself as a cloud software company. And although Sage CRM has its origin uh, as an on-premise installation. Its user interface is delivered within a browser and it has very flexible deployment options. And that includes the different options that uh, we may, may need to take into account where Sage CRM is integrated with a Sage accounting system such as Sage 200 uh, or Sage 300 or even Sage X3 and Intact. Now, a company choosing to say uh, implement Sage CRM may opt for installation on uh, a classic on-premise arrangement. So implemented on a customer's own system uh, where the customer takes uh, full responsibility for the hardware and software maintenance. Uh, it could be implemented within a private cloud. That's a managed service. So where responsibility for the hardware and the software maintenance falls within uh, the uh, within that managed arrangement or a virtual private cloud where you've got shared infrastructure uh, with shared responsibility for system maintenance and upgrade. And this is very much aligned to Sage's strategy, which is to enable Sage customers to embrace the cloud at their own pace. And this is a message that should be familiar to customers and partners who are using Sage accounting products such as um, Sage X3, Sage 300, Sage 200, 100 and 50. Customers are gradually being familiarized with Sage's cloud proposition uh, with the products being increasingly cloud connected and able to support our customers move to cloud deployment. And you may also have heard about the Sage Partner Cloud. This is a managed service by Sage or, or by their partners using Azure. Sage's vision is to provide a great CRM product for customers and partners alike. We want Sage CRM to be deployed in any way that our customers needs as part of the Sage business cloud. And so we're working to make sure that uh, beyond the powerful uh, core features that you expect from a modern CRM system, that uh, we're making sure that we've got APIs that are open, standard based and free to developers and uh, independent software vendors. We want our APIs to be used to integrate Sage CRM beyond the Sage business cloud and to become part of an ever expanding ecosystem. And to enable that vision, you can expect from Sage, within the context of CRM, a real focus on API expansion, improvements to the interface, and to feature expansion as well. 
And over the last few releases, we've delivered improvements in cloud deployment options. We support now both implementation on uh, Amazon AWS and Azure, and we've been working to deliver improved security features, that's connectivity things to um, MS Office 365 or Google G Suite using OAuth 2 and modern authentication. And we've a continued attack on the petty annoyances that uh, diminish the user experience. We want to ensure that the user experience is lifted up no matter how uh, CRM is deployed and no matter what device you want to use. So Sage is committed to being a great SaaS company, software as a service company, and Sage CRM is part of that commitment. Sage CRM integrates both directly and via ISV solutions with Sage accounting products, such as Sage Intact, Sage 200, Sage 300. These all serve the mid-market, which is Sage CRM's sweet spot. Sage 200 and Sage 300 are examples of cloud connected products, which means that uh, these products can run in cloud environments. That environment can be a mix of private, public and hybrid cloud deployment. Uh, Sage CRM is intimately integrated with Sage accounting products and has some, uh, really um, has the same roadmap length as all of those products like Sage 200, like Sage 300 and 100 in the States. Sage 300 customers using Sage 200 or Sage 300 will continue alongside newer integrations with cloud native products such as Sage Intact. Sage CRM fits into the Sage Business Cloud in the same way that um, Sage 200 or Sage 300 fits into the cloud and those extensions and modules of those uh, accounting products. You can deploy Sage CRM any way that you want. We're supported, as I said, on Amazon Web Services and Azure. We added support for that for 2021 R1, and we will support Azure Active Directory single sign-on, uh, multi-factor uh, authentication, et cetera, from Sage, uh, from Sage CRM 2021 R2. Now, Sage CRM is a fully featured CRM system. It has sales, marketing, and customer modules within it. Uh, with Sage CRM, you have the freedom to choose a solution that best fits your unique business requirements. Uh, Sage CRM will grow with you as your business needs evolves. Um, it gives you the freedom to move from any initial deployment option to another as you need. And these modules and features are all out of the box and offer configurable business process automation. So the idea is that any API choices that are being made and for integration, you can have it any way you like uh, deployed in any, any mechanism because the APIs are right for you. Sage CRM offers flexible customization options. Uh, you've got the automated process workflows, mobile solutions. Um, we've now with 2021 uh, R1, we've got click to dial and very easy telephony integration. Uh, we've got the web self-service and more. So you can improve productivity and empower your staff to communicate more effectively with your customers through Sage CRM. Now, Sage CRM is integration ready out of the box. CRM offers integration from the server to uh, Google G Suite, from MS Office 365, and integration, as I said, with Sage accounting systems. You can integrate quickly with other external applications through secure, standard-based web services and APIs. And the integration with MailChimp is a case in point. This enables data to flow from a back office system like Sage 200 and then be used in marketing campaigns that are driven from within inside Sage CRM. And there are integrations with business applications as diverse as human resources, uh, project management software, membership management, loan management, collaboration software, document distribution, time and expense reporting, and route planning. And these are all provided by partners or enabled by professional services. Um, the integrations exist so that a company's requirements may grow and you want to be able to grow uh, 
with those and you desire to avoid growing complexity, well, that's fine. But within business management solutions like uh, Sage CRM, you can simplify and unify uh, the user experience all the way from the front office to the back office. And Sage CRM will continue to enable your organizational growth by ensuring a consistent quality of customer experience. Um, you can be sure of the accuracy of data needed throughout the business and um, Sage CRM, because of its integration capabilities and being able to provide uh, a, a common point of access, will provide timely access for managers for decision critical forward looking information. And that business process automation can stretch across systems as well. Now, you can find many of these integrations on the Sage CRM community, and that's Sage CRM, uh, sorry, community dot sagecrm.com. I'll say that again within community dot sagecrm.com. Within the marketplace uh, tab within the community, you'll see a listing of the different partner created extensions and add ons. Partners have been revising these and ensuring that these all work with Sage CRM at 2021 R1. And Sage has also been invested, investing in Sage CRM to raise its CRM's global profile. Sage is pleased to announce that Sage CRM's REST API is now documented on developer.sage.com. Developer.sage.com is the reference site that brings together the information, documentation, guides and resources for developers who want to integrate apps with Sage Cloud software. You'll find Sage CRM listed within the Medium Business section along with Sage People, Sage Intact, Sage X3 and Sage 200. Sage CRM is one of Sage's global products and is available within each of the regions covered by the developer site. That's the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, France, Spain, Germany and Australia. The developer site promotes partners who want to create and promote solutions for our customers through our localized marketplaces. These are now live in four regions, including the USA, Canada, the UK and France, with South Africa launching soon. There are over 2 million active Sage customers across the globe, and this is a great resource for developers working with Sage CRM and aiming to connect to those customers through the Sage Marketplace. Apps for Sage CRM by developers such as Cumulus and Greatrix are represented in each of the local marketplaces. I hope that this has been a useful session for you and that it's given you a sense of the add-ons that are available, the global nature of the marketplace and where you can find more information. I look forward to seeing you in the other session.